Here's John Scheinman. Well, Larry, interesting fight. These guys met before, and Phipps knocked him out in one round, and it was kind of a iffy type knockout. A lot of people were unhappy with it. Griffith moved down to Florida after the fight, and he uh, hooked up with a new manager, scored a first round KO himself, broke up with the manager, now has come back to the Baltimore area, and a rematch with Jed Phipps. Two big guys, two power punchers, anything could happen. And Jed Phipps, John, in fact, said he really didn't want to take this fight because he didn't have anything to prove, but he has to still get in the ring and take care of business. Let's get it started with Pat O'Malley. And now, what time is it, boxing fans? Ballroom boxing time! This four-round bout in the heavyweight division will be refereed by Gary Campaneschi. Judging the bout, Kenny Chevalier, Don Richer, and Malik, Malik Waleed. The scorekeeper is John Godowski. The timekeeper is Tommy Canaris. Introducing the boxers, first to my left, out of the red corner, wearing the gray and blue trunks. He weighed in at 308 and a half pounds from the nation's capital of Washington, D.C. His record, three and six, three via the KO. Please welcome Big Steve Griffin. To my right, out of the blue corner, wearing the silver trunks with black trim. He tipped the scales at 232 and a half. He hails from Baltimore, Maryland. His record, 7-0. Four via the KO. Please welcome Jeff Phipps. Obviously, Jeff Phipps is the big favorite here. We have a special guest here ringside with us. Before we introduce him, let's listen to the referee, Gary Campaneschi. Watch your low blows, and most of all, you obey my commands. Touch him up, wait for the bell. Good Quick look at the there. matchup with John Saracino. Well, it's Steve Griffin. You see how big he is, 308 and a half. And he's coming in a lot lighter than he did the first time he fought Jed Phipps. But Steve Griffin did some hard time. He's already 35 years old, trying to launch his career. And he's 308 pounds. We had a whole pack of Washington Redskins make it to the fights tonight. The Ronaldo win of the Redskins is with us. And this is your second trip here. Ronaldo, you're liking it. Second trip, I can't get enough of it, man. It's great. Awesome. You see a big 308 pounder. That's a guy you could probably throw across the <laughs> line of scrimmage, but the action underway, and Jed Phipps, unbeaten, is going to have to deal with a man bigger than him. Well, Ronaldo Wynn knows it also comes down to proper technique. It doesn't matter how big you are if you don't apply uh, the proper fundamentals. You're right. It's all about the fundamentals. And I'll tell you, this guy, 303, man. I mean, you said he was lighter <laughs> from the last time. <laughs> but I tell you, you see the look on this guy's face? He's all about business. And this is a rematch, Ronaldo, a fight that happened back in 2002. And Garth Hedger, uh, excuse me, uh, Jed Phipps didn't want to take this fight. Now, I don't know. Maybe Phipps might have a cut on the hairline or something. I know he had a clash of heads. But, Ronaldo, why do you like this venue? Why do you like ballroom boxing? Well, I tell you what, you know. Oh, Phipps oh. is hurt. He is hurt. I can tell you why you didn't want to fight the guy. <laughs> You get hit like with one of those, I wouldn't want to fight either. You know, it's interesting. He didn't think that Phipps didn't think his opponent had another fight since he fought him last. And he said, not that it really matters, but he was up in the uh, office before the fight tonight. And he oh, looked the big right hand. Wow. And down goes Griffin. Unbelievable. Out of nowhere, Jed Phipps dropped him. Can he get up? He is up. Wow, your heart. This is a shocker, I tell you. Heavyweights, you never know what's gonna happen. You're right. See, there's a cut over the right eye, right on the eyelid of Griffin. Griffin's gotta hold on if he can. Big right hand by Jed Phipps. Oh! And 308 pounds. He might have broke his ankle. Boy, his ankle turned funny, and the fight's gotta be stopped. He's out cold. Or probably tore some ligaments, so the ankle's still hanging out. Wow, what a dynamic finish to that fight. And big Mr. Griffin, all 308 pounds, is down, and he is out. What a vicious knockout by Jed Phipps, who got rocked early in that first round, Larry, and realized he was going to have to lay something on Steve Griffin, and he laid a two-by-four across him. 
And you know what, Ronaldo, you've been in the you've been in the trenches in the NFL. If you get a knee bent down backwards like that, you got 308 pounds. Something's got to go. You know, and, and 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 a hit like that where you just pretty much fall out unconscious. You have no control over your body and all that weight. As you can see, his leg is turned out outward. Let's take a closer look here. Tell you what, the best thing that may have happened, Ronaldo, that he might have been out and didn't oh. feel as much. You're right. He might have been unconscious. You're right. Or concussed, and he didn't necessarily feel all that pain down there. Exactly. So it might be good for him. It spared a little bit extra pain for him. Yeah, he's pointing to his ankle in the ring. It was the ankle, not the, the knee ankle. that got bent down there. Something had to give. You know, you know, it's it's, so, it's always tough, even in football, to really tell exactly what exactly is wrong. You know, it can either be a knee or ankle. In this case, like you said, it seems to be the ankle. And you know, no matter what it is, you got 303 coming down on on any kind of ligament or muscle, bone right. or whatever, it's gonna give. That was his right ankle that got caught up underneath him and Jed Phipps really took care of business. Let's put our attention on the winner, Jed Phipps, as we take another look at how this ended. Take a look at the right ankle, the right ankle of right Griffin. There. Yep, you're right, oh. you broke it. You broke it, you're right. Totally he fell right. right back on and at 308, that's a lot of pressure. Oh man. From the overhead camera, another look at how this fight ended. Bill Holmes after the first knockdown. And Jed Phipps was thrown with some mean intentions. Oh, what a great oh, shot. Oh, look at that shot. You can see his foot is pointing the wrong direction. You know, we've been very fortunate, Larry, over our 50 shows. We have not had a lot of serious injury here in the ballroom boxing series. This is probably the most serious one we've had. And they're going to put him on the board and take Steve Griffin off. I want to thank Ronaldo Wynn for stopping by. Sorry the visit was so short, buddy. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's very unfortunate, you know, especially, you know, any kind of injury like this, you know. He's in a lot of pain. And, I, and, I, and, you got, pain. and you guys also said he was just starting to launch his career, too, huh? Yeah, just had a nice comeback going. Had won his last fight, first-round knockout. Jed Phipps, the big winner by way of first-round knockout. He remains unbeaten at 8 and 0. More ballroom boxing coming up. Hey. Don't miss the next live show, Thursday, June 19th. Action-packed entertainment. The best club boxing in America. <laughs> we'll see you next time in the ballroom. Removed from the ring after suffering a broken bone in his ankle with the official time of the first round knockout. Let's go to Pat O'Malley. Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. The winner by knockout at 148 of round one, Jed Phipps. Jed Phipps, the winner, in devastating fashion in the first round. Took a while to get the Steve Griffin out of the ring because of that injured ankle, but he is off to the hospital. We wish him the best. Jed Phipps said he didn't want to take the fight, didn't have anything to prove, and unfortunately, look at the rather unusual headgear in the ring. I think that might even scare Pat O'Malley. Let's get this one officially started. Let's go, Pat. It